Hey, thanks for stopping by. My name is Tyler and today I wanted to go over what I did to study in order to pass my CCNA 200-301 exam on the first attempt in six month, months while working three jobs. So, a lot to unpack here. Um, let's get into it. So, starting off, I mentioned that I work three jobs. At a lot of this, I guess, journey was spent and a normal like eight to four kind of not eight to four geez seven to four kind of role and then in the afternoons i would work retail which was effectively 4 30 until 10 o'clock at night and the schedules changed a little bit since then i no longer work retail after work i work at a restaurant but that's besides the point my study habits are effectively the same so before I even get into the, I guess, content I use to study, a little sneak peek there, we're just going to go over kind of how did I find time to even study. Um, obviously, I had a very busy schedule, not a lot of free hours in the day to study. So where did I get that time from? The primary place I got all, almost all of my study time from was before work. So what I would do, or what I decided to do, is just show up to work, like, hour and a half-ish early. Um, like, generally, I'm at the office at, like, 5.30, 5.45, and then I don't start till 7, so I would just start way early, and, or I'd get there way early, and use that hour, hour and a half, to study, and... The other place I found time was between my jobs. I said I got off at 4, started my next job at anywhere from 4.30 to 5. That did give me, sometimes it was 15 minutes, sometimes it was 45 um, to once again study. On the weekends, I did have time in the afternoons because on the weekends I just detailed cars, which was kind of 9 to 3 or 4. I left to go tumble at around seven so i had a couple hour block of time in the afternoon to study then did i always use it no but i did use that a few times so that being said just wanted to kind of go over how many hours a day i was studying and where i was able to fit that time in because i know a lot of you are busy people can't seem to find time to study but promise you can it's got to look a little bit Anyway, moving forward, what did I use? So, whole thing took me around six months, as I said. The first thing I did was I read both volume one and volume two of Wendell Odom's CCNA study guide, or cert guide rather. And this is a lot of content. This took probably three out of the six months alone. Um, not only because there is so many pages, around 1400, but at the same time, I was doing the Pearson Met Sim Labs. A lot of people used Packet Tracer. Personally, I didn't go that route, but I know a lot of people did. Not hating on Packet Tracer. But yeah, I did all of the Pearson Labs and read both of these textbooks in about three months. And after I finished that, that gave me a really strong base, kind of in everything. Did I remember everything from every single page? absolutely not that's ridiculous if you can remember 1400 pages of text the first by only reading it once you're incredible you're from another world that's not me so spent the next I guess month and a half watching jeremy's it lab on youtube he has an incredible ccna course and i just watched through it i didn't actually go and take really notes at all i just sat back, paid attention, and enjoyed his videos. So that took me about a month and a half to get through, rewatched the videos a few times, but that was just to reinforce a lot of these ideas, obviously having a more visual representation of the topics is helpful rather than just text. There are pictures in this book, 
but as you can see, they're all black and white, so they're not the most interesting to look at. After that, after I made it through Jeremy's videos, and I felt like I was really understanding the topics on the exam fairly well. Um, if you ask me what network address translation was, I'll tell you what it is, ask me about DHCP, IP routing, all the things. So, I went ahead and bought some practice tests. Personally, I used the Boson, I think XSIM practice tests, along with the Cisco practice test. If you didn't know, Cisco actually does make official practice tests for the CCNA. And between those two sets of practice tests, it's a pool of about 600 questions. So I went through, I, I just kind of went over the practice tests over and over and over and over and over. Um, Cause with so many questions, realistically, you're not sitting there memorizing answers but you are starting to remember the concepts a little bit more and it helps you narrow down additionally, what am I still struggling on for this exam? So went through practice tests for pretty much two months until I took the real thing while I was doing practice tests. Obviously that wasn't the only thing I was doing. I was reading explanations on questions I got wrong, doing extra research on topics I was hazy about, one of the, I guess one of the tips I would advise is for labs. If you're, if you're doing a lab and you're struggling to remember what commands you need to type in, what exactly you're supposed to be doing, one thing I found super helpful was to kind of pause the lab, go to Google, say one of the commands you do know is IPNet inside, and type it into the search bar, and almost every time your first result is going to be Cisco documentation. I love their documentation because it goes over pretty much every command you could want to use. And what that does is it gives you a list of commands and kind of explanations for each one. And at that point you can piece together which ones do I need to put together in order to finish the lab. You might not have remembered them on the first time, but the action of actually going and looking for these commands and understanding which one you need to use will help you tremendously, or at least it did for me in the future, remembering, I guess, which one to use in that scenario, because you had to go out of your way to look it up. But yeah, that was effectively all of the study materials I used, going over them one more time. We have Volume 1 and Volume 2 of the Wendell Odom CCNA Cert Guides, all of the Pearson NetSim Labs. Once again, I think there's almost 200. I want to say it's about 180 or something. And then following that, Jeremy's IT Lab. Once again, didn't take crazy notes, just sat and enjoyed the videos. And after all of that, we used the Boson XM practice tests along with the Cisco practice tests. And yeah, that about wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, by all means, drop them in the comments. I love responding to every single one of you. And guess enjoy the rest of your week.